Hey everybody, I'm Jody Ganzik and this is Smarter Home Life. If you're a fan of HomeKit and of LifeX, you've probably been waiting a long time for those two to well get together. And at the end of last year, 2016, LifeX had announced that their new products were HomeKit compatible, but they needed some software to make that work. The hardware was on board, but they needed a little bit more time. Well, turns out they needed a lot more time, but it's done. You can now go to the App Store, and download the latest version of the app, version 381. And once you open that app, it'll kick off a um, upgrade process for firmware and then the HomeKit pairing process, which I'll go into here in just a second. Now to reiterate, the products that this is applicable for or to um, are the LifeX A19 and BR30 and the LifeX Plus A19 and BR30. And the newer products, the GU10 and their retrofit uh, ceiling can fixture, the Downlight. I ran into a little bit of a weird glitch with this. It might have just been my particular devices, my uh, iOS devices, where the app wouldn't update it and showed the update. I, I could try to update it, it just wouldn't do it. So I had to delete the app entirely and then re download it. But all of the stuff, all of the um, scenes and settings and so forth for LifeX exist in their cloud. So it'll just come back down once you download the app. So that was kind of my experience. So without further ado, let me just show you um, a quick kind of sped up demo. I'm using a LifeX Plus A19 bulb, the one that's got the night vision enhancing infrared LEDs. After you update or re download the app, open it up and you'll get a welcome screen talking about. HomeKit. You'll be prompted to update your lights, just tap OK, and OK again, and the process will start. Once it's done, just proceed with HomeKit setup and allow access to your home data. And this is where, for me, the process went off the rails a bit. It appeared that some of these steps were already done, so I thought I would get the HomeKit code again, since I hadn't apparently done that yet. This retrieves the HomeKit setup code embedded in the light itself. This will start the HomeKit connection process with some flashes of light and then connect the HomeKit portion of the light to your Wi-Fi. The regular Wi-Fi connections to the bulb for the LifeX app and other integrations are not affected by this upgrade. A special thanks to LifeX for supplying this and other products over the past year for testing. Once you get your code, be sure to save it as an image or as a PDF. And now you can start the HomeKit pairing process. You'll tap Can't Scan, then Enter Code, and enter it manually. For whatever reason, this process took longer than expected a lot longer. Eventually I just gave up and started over, but since at the end of the process I was redirected back to the lights settings page, I wondered if the process had actually worked the first time. So I went back over to the home app and there was the LifeX light and I could control it with no problem. Dimming and brightening worked smoothly and responsibly just as I would expect. and color selection also worked well. But color temperature? Mm, not so much. It goes without saying that you can, of course, add your new HomeKit LifeX lights to existing and new scenes in the Home app and other third-party HomeKit apps. And add them to automations too. Finally, no HomeKit demo would be complete without Siri. And look, she got it right on the first try. Now the older LifeX products, the Color 1000, the old uh, white, uh, the white shades of light product, and the original version of their uh, bulb, and even the LifeX Z smart strips from last year are not yet, I'll say yet compatible because uh, LifeX is working with Apple to better understand the kind of new paradigm with HomeKit and retroactively enabling older products through software upgrades because those older products don't have the hardware, um, the HomeKit hardware in them. 
That being said, the new products that LifeX has been introducing this year, including the brand new, and they'll be probably announced uh, to the public by the time this video goes up, the new smart, uh, smart, <laughs> the new LifeX mini smart bulbs, uh, which are a little bit smaller, a little bit less bright, but have all the great features and so forth, and now are in three varieties. Um, those and all the other products that uh, LifeX will launch in the future will be HomeKit compatible. If you enjoy the episodes of the videos and the how-tos and so forth here on Smarter Home Life, please think about becoming a contributor over on Patreon. It's our crowdfunding platform. It helps Smarter Home Life earn a little bit more revenue and uh, not only uh, grow, hopefully, but uh, it won't just kind of continue to exist uh, and thrive. Patreon.com slash Smarter Home Life is where you need to go. A dollar or two a month makes a huge difference from a lot of people, and there are some great rewards and perks that you can get by joining today. Just do it today. Be, make it part of your holiday shopping list. Put us on your, your holiday shopping list. I know that you're on my wish list for you to become one of our contributors. Otherwise, head over to smarterhomelife.com for articles, for written content that you won't find anywhere else. Get us across social media. And otherwise, I'm Joe DeGanzik. Make your home just a little bit smarter every single day. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.